look that just uh, wakes you up, that makes you feel good. If you know anything about style, uh, once you realize what your personal style is, it can elevate your day completely. Like you're literally wearing something all day long. You're carrying around this weight on you all day long. You might as well do it right, right? You might as well do it in a way that'll make you feel good. And I just love when it, it does that for me. Like today, I feel great. <laughs> adding a comment like I have never done in the past thank you for coming in my mouth is all up in the speaker once you walk into the room <laughs> I'm just writing down today's uh, sale what I'm about to talk about markdowns 40% off everything that's on the rack is currently on the website I wrote down what I was about to uh, write in this comment because I like to be prepared on the website. All right, shop the site or the live by invoice. All payments are accepted. Hopefully that came through as I wanted for percent off. I don't know why I write 40% markdown off, whatever. <laughs> if you don't know what that means, then we can figure that out. Well, anyway, let me not hold you. This is helping me not be so nervous, but thank you for joining. Let me turn my music down. I like this out. Jamming out over here. Okay. Um, so this uh, live is uh, for 40% off markdown is currently everything that is on the website that you will see on this rack besides two or three items I just wanted to show you what I had in store um, but today is all about showing you everything up close and personal kind of showing you uh, what a curated style is this is kind of like the curated closet that I have for myself early on in my business where I just had to figure out how to um, buy for others and not just for myself so if you're a business owner you know that it's always a learning game and you always got to show up not knowing nothing because there's always something to be learned but anyway i'll give it a few so i'm always talking to myself because hunger is and you know we got to care about the people who watch this in the replay so they can see so they don't have to wait too long but if you do come in please say hello talk to your girl I'm currently wearing one of the um, two. I mixed it, but it's a two-piece set. It's a vintage Sterling collection two-piece set. Um, this is just mixed colors. They all come in with the uh, blazer top and the trousers as well. I'm wearing this little tie DIY thing that I made by myself. You can see it's tied up in the back. So this is one of my little upcycling projects that I love to wear with blazers. Which reminds me, if you're watching from TikTok, I have to show you a tutorial, did not forget about that. And I'm gonna just jump right in into what is on the rack, okay? So again, everything is 40% off. If you wanna shop the website, the 40% off will come off in the cart. If you want to shop the live, you could just send me your email, say, hey, I want that item, whatever, we can discuss it. And then I'll send you an invoice and you can pay with all forms of payment as well on there through the invoice. <sighs> Hey, Seven Vintage Cravens, thank you for joining. <clears throat> I am about to just go through this rack because that's what I came here for, all right? Okay, so starting off with this vintage Doncaster blazer. This is the uh, detail of it up close. And it is a button closure, it has one button here. Um, the pit to pit is 18 inches. And I actually want to double check that, so. Thanks for joining. Um, every hola. <laughs> um, everything is that's the same person. I'm sorry that I was in the person, so I'm not gonna say that again to you, homegirl. Anyway, let me just double check here. I typically take these uh, laying down, but today I just wanted to double check this. Yeah, I'm gonna put that 23. The pit to pit is approximately 23 inches. 
If you want a laying down measurement, please ask your girl. No problem at all. The 23 is the measurement for this laser. It has um, no pockets, right? Yeah, the, none of them have pockets here. And this one has a length of 28 inches. And then the shoulder to width to uh, waist length is 24 inches. And um, I noted here that it has some faded pin marks. So which is also another thing that I like about doing this is that you get to see the flaws up close and personal. Sometimes there are flaws, but mainly I don't post items that have flaws on it. If I showed it to you and I realized I had a flaw on it, it's the reason why you won't see it on the website. But this one is very slight. You can't really, really see it. It is a faded pin mark. Um, I'm trying to see if I can see it in this camera. But it's here, right there. And then there's one here. So right there, this, you really can't see it. So that's how slight it is, but two little pin marks that I wanted to notate. Uh, all right, next up, I'm currently wearing um, the mixture of the set. Let me take this off. But I mixed it up. This is the actual set on the hanger. These are the pants that actually go with the blazer I'm wearing. This blazer, I'm wearing the pants, okay? Two colors, they're both the same size, so the measurements are gonna be the same. This one is um, two functional pockets. It has a belt, which is with this set over here. And then the blue one also has a belt, a belt that comes with it. But this is it in the back. It is tagged to size 16. I have the belt like tight. It does not fit me. If you can see, this is stuff is like kind of like biggie or bag on me, which I actually love. I love the oversized look, um, but it is a bit big on me. Um, it is tagged to size 16. The pit to pit is 23 on the blazer. Obviously not on the pants. The uh, length of the blazer from shoulder to waist is 31. And then the uh, waist of the pants is 34 inches. The rise is 16 and the length is 43. Okay, and again, the pants also have pockets. So yes, you could be mad swagged out. <clears throat> I love this look, this is so cute. I love a look that just uh, wakes you up, that makes you feel good. If you know anything about style, uh, once you realize what your personal style is, it can elevate your day completely. Like you're literally wearing something all day long. You're carrying around this weight on you all day long. You might as well do it right, right? You might as well do it in a way that'll make you feel good. And I just love when it, it does that for me. Like today, I feel great. <laughs> Even I'm gonna take this off after this live. This is like uh, such a good combination of, of color. But anyway, nobody asked that, moving on. To um, another two-piece set. This one's a bit bigger. It is tagged a size extra large, um, which I think, I don't know why I made that face. It is actually true to size. It is tagged a size extra large. The pit to pit, um, I put it as 20, so I'm gonna do that again. Again, I did these like a while ago, these measurements. I'm actually laid down over here on the trunk. Give me a minute. bigger than the other one so the pits of pits is 24 inches which makes the bus 48 all right 24 inches on this love the look thanks boo i love i love color i love waking myself up because i typically gravitate towards like earth tones black and i love when like i wear color and it, it wakes me up oh my God, what am i doing anyway yes yeah, so this is the blazer i was talking about the pits of pit Pits of pit is 24, length from shoulder to waist is 30, and then the waist is 42. So the uh, the uh, the waist is 42, oh my god. <laughs> the pants is 40 inches, and then the length of the pants is 44. And these are the pants. Just like the um, sterling one I'm wearing, they have pockets, but closure, it doesn't come with a belt, that's the only difference. Um, and it has two more functional button, I mean pockets in the back. Like new, this actually came with tags, so I took it off to clean it. But yes, very, very cute color. Ugh, wish this was my size. I'm sad, I wish all of these were my size so it could just fit right. But yes, that's the last two piece set. That was three. So, um, again, the vintage sterling ones are in lavender, and then I say this is like an oceanic blue. Moving on to another blazer. So again, I have lots and lots of blazers. Blazers are always a vibe for me. You can always throw a blazer on 
with whatever you are wearing. I feel like anything you put on, a dress, a t-shirt, a button up shirt, whatever the way you dress, whether you are dressing up or dressing down, I feel like a blazer always ties in the look. It's an easy little go-to, like easy outfit combinations. But anyway, this is another vintage blazer. Um, it is Vintage For You by Spiegel. It is houndstooth, so this is the um, detail. It is multicolor. I love all the colors in there. Um, pit to pit is 25. The waist is 52. And then the length from shoulder to waist is 32. Boom, boom, boom. And this one is also a button closure. It has two, no, yes, two button closures. Um, the pocket is not functional. Let's see. Making sure it's not something you have to rip. Non functional pocket. Hi there. Thank you for joining. Just going over the measurements of this vintage blazer. Everything is on the website and it is 40% off. Okay. This one is tag the size 16 women's. Um, and then I went through the pit to pit 25. The uh, waist is 52 and then the length is 32. Again, that is it closer so you can see the color and the detail, the hounds too. Okay. If you see anything on the rack you'd like me to go through, please shout it out. I can stop my flow of things to show you what you want to see, okay? So I'm just keep going in my order here. Another blazer. Um, this is a plaid one. It has the uh, built-in shoulder pads. That's not easily removable, but if you know, you know you can remove anything. <clears throat> but that um, is in there. And then this one is also a button closure. And these pockets are functional. You just have to rip the seam. It is tag the size um, 12. Uh, it's 100% rayon on the lining, and then the it, the uh, sorry the shell is rayon. The lining is polyester. Um, the brand is JH Collections. I have the measurements as well on this. Uh, I have them, but I didn't put them on here. If you want the measurements, I could just search on my my uh, website real quick and show you. But yeah, I didn't do this one. Or this house, too. I know I skipped some. But that's all good. We make it do what it do. But anyway, that one was that. And then we have this Bernard Holtzman house to blazer. Now this one also has a flaw. I tried to get the stain out of it, which I will continue. I may, I may just be using the wrong products. I'm still learning. But this is the only flaw to it, is this little stain there. But yes, this is a baddie. I love a good hound suit. And this one is like that chunky hound suit, which you can't really find. You always small, you always find the smaller uh, hound suit prints. But this one is also a button closure. And if you want the measurements on this one, I, I didn't write it down. So I could look on the website for you. However, it has a tag. It's tag to size six, and it is true to size. So it's small. All right, it is a small. All right, I got the sweater measurements. So we can pick back up there. This is a vintage Bedford knit sweater. It is a small, medium, but it's a small, medium. Another printed piece with color. I'm a lover of color. Um, this one does not have the tag size, but the measurements are uh, pit to pit 23 inches. And the waist is without stretch 18 inches. With stretch it is 26. And then the length is 20, 25 and a half inches, okay? size small really cute has a lot of stretch in it and it definitely feels like it's a blend of wool and something else however I do not believe don't remember because again I just pulled this out of the old inventory no no material tag on it but it is a blend of, of some type of wool maybe cashmere it's really soft so not sure um, but yes cute 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 some more vintage. This one is Leslie Fay. It comes with the belt. Um, which I'll slide her down. Boop. She had that waist, that waist snatched. This is the lapel. I believe that's the term for it. I'm still learning that too. Um, but yes, this is a, a button closure as well. It has two buttons, I think. Now this one has just the one. So you can close it here if you don't want the girls to hang out. It's a long sleeve. It has this um, cuffed wrist cute little pleated effect on the skirt and then it's a cinched waist and it has the loops for the belt as well still intact but the waist does have some elasticity to it i am losing my uh boosty here 
This is again my uh, DIY little tie bralette I made that I love putting over um, blazers, especially oversized blazers that fit too too wide on me. It's too big for me. Um, but yes, this fits and pay for this dress is 24 inches. The waist without stretch is 14, and with stretch it is 19. And then the length, obviously, from shoulder to the um, brim of the dress is 57, 57 inches. But yes, this is vintage. This is the prints up close and personal. Has like a slight little fade to it, so I just want you to see it in the light. So I'm kind of not really close. But that's it in the back. Super, super cute. Again, comes with a belt. We just want to put that belt right on over there right now. <clears throat> All right, so I have three pairs of pants. These are plaid trousers. They're really thin, but they are also vintage. Let's see. The tag. It's tagged a size seven eight. Um, the waist on these is thirty four. The M seam is ten inches, and then the length is forty one. Okay, these are very long. I'm a five seven. I'm a five seven. <laughs> my height is five seven, and these fit me great. Like they go to my ankle. There is no high water action going on. But yes, that's. Um, and these don't have any pockets. They just have the belt loop. This is also a zip closure. So it zips to close. And that's it. <sighs> and then moving on to these knit pants. I really love these too. These are a size large, which, which have a lot of stretch to them. Um, super cute color. I mean, depending on your region and where you are, these are great great little easy outfit piece um 90 acetate 10 percent poly um, and they are tagged to size large the waist measurements are 38 inches and then the end seam is 16 and a half thank you for joining bolo vintage thank you guys for joining i'm just going over the measurements of these knit pants everything is on the website and it is currently 40 percent off so you can shop through the website or you can shop here claim your items if you're interested i give you the price and i'll send you an invoice all payments are accepted um again thank you for joining anyway so the waist is 38 um, without stretch and then with stretch it is 48 and then the length is 42 inches okay these are vintage, the brand is nice wear, and this is it, close and personal, so you can see that knit action. Super cute, loving this flare. Good afternoon, my love. Christine's Vintage Closet, thank you for joining. Good day, good day. Yes, I am just going through everything that I currently have on the website. This inventory that I didn't show you up close and personal. That way you get to get a feel of what everything actually looks like versus the pictures. I really like that. I started doing that. Look at these sequin pants, honey. They are fringy. Can you see? Can you see? You see me through them. <laughs> Look how beautiful. Oh, if only they were my size. These have an elastic waist as well. Um, the waist without stretch is 32 inches. With stretch, it, it, it goes all the way up to 48, aren't they? Ooh, girl, girl. Call them hot pants, all right? You could just let them see it all. Um, with stretch is 48, the inseam is 13, and the length is 44 and a half, okay? 44 and a half. It doesn't have a brand tag on it. No size tag. Oh, wait, it does have a tag. Hurt. Polyester and spandex, and it's tagged size 2X. Um, they hold a lot of stretch. All right, gave you those measurements there. Also on the website, I think I have these uh, listed for uh, $50, but it's 40% off. I don't know, 40% off in my head, so don't judge me. I don't know. Just go over there and check out if you're interested. <laughs> You'll see it come off in the in the cart. Okay, yes, honey, these are bad. It will even go with this look I'm wearing. I mean, this is just, just wear one everything. Why not? You only live once. Wear everything you got. Some more pants. These are also vintage. The brand is Jaded London, I believe. Yes, Jaded London. They kind of flare a bit. So they are flare jeans. Definitely vintage wash, super good quality. I think these are 100% cotton because that's the best way. That's the best quality. 
can we put sold in live yes ma'am you can put sold in live just let me know which one um you want to buy so i can send you the invoice or you could just shop directly on the website if you don't want to do that put sold in the item just the description of the item and then um i'll take your name down and i'll shoot you a dm or you could dm me your email address okay trying to confirm it says it's, it's, it's cotton it is 100 percent cotton it definitely feels like 100 percent cotton so yeah that is sustainable fabric at its best the measurements on this is 28 inches the inseam is 12 and then the length is 45 inches okay 45 inches it has um four button closure it has four functional pockets so two in the front two in the back and again they kind of flare out at the bottom here <clears throat> moving on to your grandma's house coat that you can now wear today okay as a dress or whatever you want or as a house coat whatever you like I love I love this this is such amazingness <laughs> I actually have two today one with a belt and just this one in general but it's all the way down it is so good it feels so good the brand is Miss Elaine at home I made in the USA so this is vintage um, the measurements, the pit to pit is 27 and the length is 49 and a half. Beat of pants again in what size? Yes. Um, the beat of pants are tagged as, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, fall in here. It's tagged with size 2X, but I'll give you the measurements. Uh, uh, the waist without stretch is 32 inches. With stretch, they stretch all the way up to 40 48 okay i'm gonna just show you the stretch the inseam is 13 inches and the uh length is 44 and a half so they have a lot of stretch to them throughout even here there's some stretch not much as the waist obviously but they stretch um this is the the back of it because that's what the tag is so that's the back of it and this is the front you can see me through it so that's how sheer it is but it is Fringy throughout, honey. Fringy throughout. And they are like in great top notch condition. I see nothing missing from them. No holes, nothing visible to my eye. Um, but yes, funky is at its best. Sold to Miss 71 Vintage Cravings. Thank you, love. I'm just gonna write your name down. If you could just shoot me a DM. Or if you purchase it on website, let me know if you uh, purchase it on the website. If you, you want an invoice, let me know. Um, just send me your email address. 71 Vintage Cravings. Excuse me. Fringe pants. Thank you, my love. I'll put these aside for you. And I just lost my pants. go Ooh. all right we did this house coat um this is another house coat this one is with the belt so it's a little belt attached here still intact this one has pockets it is real they uh, the pockets are in front like this so they have pockets like this i kind of want to put this one over this set that i have without putting my arms in so you could just see it on me but this is it this is it in the block super cute again i'm five seven you don't see how long it is but the length i have here just want to make sure vita still thank you for joining i could like ahead of myself and just start talking all right so the brand of this is called an original by jenny um jenny lee i don't know what that is i haven't been able to find anything on that but that is thank you thank you but that is um what it says on the tag it is a size small the pit to pit is 27 and the length is 49 and a half okay super good it is like cotton i don't think the uh, material tag is on this one either but it is it feels great super cute that's the lining inside and that is the tag Shout out this whole bralette is not my size now it's like falling off that's what it says on the tag okay that's the only tag in there but she's great she's amazing she's everything I'm just like where does it dress i could see this being worn with some thigh high boots 
a bralette inside and then just it, you know, let's just wear it as itself. I'm over here fantasizing about this, this outfit combination. I love, I love fashion. Love it. I love it. I love quality goods. Okay, so this is a Chinese kimono. Um, this one is actually tagged, like extra large. I believe it is true to size. Um, Pits of Pit is 30, um, the waist is 28 and a half, the length is 38 and a half, okay? It does not have its belt, it came without it, but it does have loops for a, a belt. Um, the last coat, the, um, so it's 40% off, let me just do it for you right quick. I didn't put, I, after I went on, I was like, I should have put the prices down so I could try to do the 40% off in my, in my head, even though I suck at doing that. But for the last coat, it's $27.50 um, for this one if you are still interested. That's a good cause, right? I mean, get it while you can, honey, because she's a beauty. $27.50 for this one. This is what the um, sold on the coats. Oh, yes. Thank you, honey. I know, right? All the, I'm, I'm a color girl. I mean, I gravitate towards color. But if you were in my story yesterday, you would see that I'm trying to actually see what you guys want from me because not everybody likes color um but 71 vintage i'm gonna put you also down for this coat house coat uh, <clears throat> again if you want to invoice please just send me a dm with your email address so i can send that to you and then all payments are accepted whether you shop the web while we're on the live or you shop by invoice okay um so i just did the kimono we ran through those measurements i believe up next, I have this blouse. Um, this is Joan Voss. It is um, a mixture of cotton, brayon, viscose, and polyester. It is tagged to size one, um, which translates to something else, but I didn't like that here. Um, it is a size A10. That's its translation. And it is a pit to pit of 26 and a half. The length from shoulder to um, the waist is 22 inches, okay? It has some stretch and there's also kind of like a bat wing, a bat wings um, print pattern. This is it up close and personal, little zebra print. That's the back of it. This probably is, uh, what, like $8. Um, I don't know. I didn't, do, I didn't do well with pricing. I just put it at 40%. I put it on the website for you. If you would like, I could check it for you. This is another, this is a modern piece. It is not vintage at all. Um, so the quality is not 100% vintage, good quality. I will put that out there. But it is cute. If you're just into cute, she's cute. That is it. In the front and the back is the same consistent pattern. It has that one button closure. And this one doesn't have any pockets. Um, best fits a size medium. The pit to pit is a 22. The length is 25 from shoulder to waist. Um, and then from what I put shoulder to waist and then I put the waist is 20. She is cute. This is really cute. I like the colors in it. It's 22 inches. Okay. That is what's currently on the website. And then I also wanted to show you two new pieces that I just could not hold out on any longer to get content for, but I will be getting content for it. It's going on the website. It's just these fringe pieces. I'm so obsessed with these two dresses I'm about to show you. Another baddie. Super cute. Look at the fringe. Look at the fringe throughout. Look at the keyhole back. Oh, it zips up. It's 100% silk. It's so pretty. And I just thought it would go great 
with this hat that I'll be putting on the website as well. Like, look at this pa this pair together. Child, just step out and just steal the scene, okay? I love this. Like, put on a leather leather trench coat, a jean trench coat, whatever. Something more dramatic, a cape, something. I just feel like when you feel like you want to be dramatic, just do it. Do it. I stand by the dramatics. Oh, my God, right? Isn't it? It's really off. The blue does not match, but I feel like, who checking for it? Who, who checking for it, right? This other piece, I just found this piece. Oh, oh my God, you guys. I'm in the tobacco here. I'm not sure if I'm keeping this for me or if I'm putting this on the website because I, I literally squoze up into it. I know that's not a word, but I squoze up into it. And it is, whoo, it's a piece. This is a slit, it's a high slit. I don't know if it's vintage, but the material is giving me vintage. The stitch is giving me vintage. It's so pretty, it is so pretty, it's so pretty. I don't know if it's silk, if it's, I don't know, but I know it's good quality. It feels like good quality. Um, but yeah, those are the, two, the three pieces actually. That's not on the website. I wasn't sure if you guys were interested in things like that because I'm not sure, you know? So I like to show some pieces, see what you say about it. See if you get a good feel. 71 Vintage Craven, thank you so much for shopping with me. I make up words all the, all the time. I mean, I make up all the time. I have two kids too, I'm always making up words for them. I like to confuse them. Only words that make sense to myself make me feel sane. <laughs> um, thank you guys for joining. Um, the Tuesday Drop is gonna come back next Tuesday. I'm gonna have some new inventory. I have um, two pop-up shots this weekend, all at the same place. I did it before at um, Halo Coffee. Uh, thank you, Christine. Um, I'll be going there again this weekend for two days straight. I'll be attending my first networking events this week, you guys. I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. I'm coming on here more often. I'm showing my face more often. I always talk in my stories, but I never come on live. Um, so I'm really enjoying this coming out of comfort zone. Um, and then I'll be going to my networking events this week that I want to share with you, both Thursday and Friday. They're for like fashion, sustainable events for free in the city, in New York. I'm from Jersey. Um, but I can't wait to share that with you guys in my story. So if you are interested in seeing where I'm going, check out my stories Thursday, Friday, and see where that is leading me. Um, <clears throat> but other than that, again, thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. And I'll catch you back here soon. Have a great day.